Hey everyone, I'm Beverly from Down and Creative Studios and today I'm going to show you how to use this awesome material called Foss Shape to make a lightweight dress form that you can bring with you to your events. Thank you to wonderflexworld.com for sending me the material so that I can play with this concept and make this tutorial for you. So what is Foss Shape? Foss Shape is this stuff. It feels and looks like felt, but there's a thermoplastic that is embedded in the fibers which means that you can shape it with steam or a little bit of hot air. It comes in several different thicknesses and strengths. This is uh, the thickest one. It's Foss Shape 600. This is the one we're going to use today. Uh, it also comes in uh, lighter versions. Here is a 300 and also a 400 in black. These are the materials I'm using for this project today. I'm using two dual separating zippers that are 36 inches long. You're also gonna need a sewing machine, a steamer, dress form, and about a yard of Foss shape. Trace the neck and the bottom of the dress form onto paper. Trace them to cardboard and cut them out. Next, tape the cardboard to the dress form. Cover the dress form with plastic. Cover the right half with duct tape. You'll only need to cover one side of the dress form with tape because we'll cut two of each pattern, but more on that later. Draw a center line. Place a zipper on the side and secure with tape. Trace the zipper. Draw a line down the center of the zipper outline. This is now your side seam. Draw additional seams and labels. Remove the duct tape. Cut the pattern apart. Next, trace the patterns to paper. Cut out the patterns. Punch all of the registration marks. Next, we're gonna trace all of those patterns to our Foss shape. Quick tip, Foss shape doesn't have a grain, so you can position your pieces in any direction. Trace the right side. Flip over the patterns to trace the left. Cut one of the neck, the bottom, and the collar. Add labels and a small margin around all of the edges. Next, cut out all the pieces. Assemble the pieces for sewing. Start with the center front. Repeat for the back center pieces. Foss shape is pretty thick, so I'm using a walking foot to sew these pieces together. Next, sew the adjoining pieces to the front and the back. Attach the neck to the collar. Now you can attach the collar to the front and the back halves. Attach the bottom halves. Next, open the zipper and move the pulls out of the way. Now you'll pin the zipper to the inside of the seam, starting at the neck. Move the needle all the way to the right. Sew the zipper. Stop when you reach the zipper pulls. Move the pulls out of the way. Now you can continue sewing the zipper. Reconnect the zipper sides and pin the zipper to the edge. Separate the zipper again and now you can pin and sew the zipper in place. Repeat these steps to attach the second zipper. All done. Next, you're going to cover the dress form again with plastic. This will protect it from the steam. Next, we'll make a support for the neck. Cut a circle of Foss shape that is about an inch larger than the neck pattern. Pin the circle on the dress form around the neck. Plug in your steamer, it's time! Apply steam gently and evenly. Next, put the Foss shape shell on the form and zip it closed. You may need to make a few adjustments to straighten the seams out. Apply steam gently to the form. Add pressure to compress the Foss shape further. This will harden the Foss shape and make it very stiff. Okay, I'm all done with that part with steaming everything. Uh, the whole form feels very rigid. So now let's take this part and see what we've got. All 
All right, we are all done. This looks amazing. I'm so happy with how this came out. Thank you again to wonderflexworld.com for sending me the Fosh Shape 600 uh, so that I could experiment with this and make this tutorial for you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.